Thank okay. you ka lang ha. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Tito Boy. Thank you for having me here. Bakit ang ganda-ganda mo? Ay, maybe because I was born pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo yan. Diba? Napakaswerte. But you're beautiful. You're very, very pretty. Thank um, you. At saka nakakatuwa dahil you're starring uh, sa isang material na malapit sa iyong puso, Hearts and Eyes. Yes. Uh, Pinangarap mo yon na sana isang araw magkaroon ng serye, ng palabas, ng pelikula na uh, you would play uh, a figure ice skater? Yes po. It Talaga? Was, it was my dream. Pero in a way, at the back of my head, naisip ko na parang malabo mangyari. Kasi it's a different setup. Like, inisip ko like sino magiging co-star ko. Paano mag adjust yung production. So talagang it's just a dream na imagination na nagsiskate ako, I have a ice princess role, parang ganon. And then suddenly, when they told me that I have hearts and eyes, talagang naiyak ako noon kasi parang hindi ako makapaniwala na it really came true. Talagang inibigay sa'yo eh. Di yeah. ba? May kasabihan nga, believe and it shall happen. Yes. Ayun, naniwala ka, pero sabi mo nga, may mga pagkakataon na paano kaya magtatagpo yes. sila. Minsan kasi, hindi na natin dapat winu-worry yun. Mm -mm. He makes it possible. Yes. Pero, di ba, ang dami mong pinagdaanan, ang dami mong roles na pinagdaanan mo, ang dami mga auditions. Itong kinaroroonan mo ngayon, this is your biggest break. You're the lead star of Hearts on Ice. How did you get here? Siguro, Tito Boy, with the help of the people around me, my family, with GMA, of course. And siguro, I'm really passionate about my work, Tito Boy. Never kong inisip na I'm after the fame. Kasi nga, I've been in the industry for 10 years already. Ang lagi kong iniisip na this is what I love doing. My goal as an actor is to last in show business. Gusto ko pang tumagal sa industriya ng to. So every time nakakaexcite na ko po yung mga veteran actors like si Natita Ami, mom ko sa show, I always admire them because yun yung lagi ko ng nilalagay sa mindset ko na my goal is to magal sa industriya, to be passionate about my work. I don't think of all the negative things because it's gonna hold me back. Like there was a time where na parang they would tell me na parang hanggang supporting ka na lang. Pero, ay, hindi ko siya pinapa-apekto sa akin because masaya rin naman ako sa lahat ng mga supporting roles na nakuha ko. Pero minsan ang sakit nun, pag tinatawaran ang kakayanan yes. mo, na para bagang... Uh, hanggang dun ka lang. Correct. Nag-uumpisa yes. ka pa lamang, you're counted out even before the contest begins. Yes. So, sa mga pagkakataon, halimbawa, Ashley na, sinasabihan ka, wala yan, hanggang dyan ka na lang, support Oo, ka na lang, kontrabida ka na lang. <laughs> hindi ka. Sinasabihan ka na. Oo, tito boy. Hindi ka sikat. Hindi ka sikat. Kanino ka, ka naman... nag Mommy, Daddy, I mean, pa paano yun? How, how would you handle situations like that? Ako, nilagay ko sa utak ko na, alam ko naman di ako sikat. <laughs> Hindi ko kasi siya iniisip because nga, I'm not after the fame. Mm -hmm. So, so parang I won't let it affect me. Though inside, parang, parang, ay, okay, artista kasi iniisip nila agad is the fame. Pero aminado naman na ako na I know I have the talent. I know I'm good at what I'm doing. Pero importante na kinakausap mo ang sarili mo. Kasi yes. tao lang tayo, di ba? Yes. Na-affect lang tayo. I acknowledge my feelings. Oh, uh, do you embrace that? Sinasabihan ka, uh, hanggang dyan ka lang. Uh, you, 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 of course, block that. Hindi. Magtatrabaho ako. Uh, mga ngarap ako. Uh, at saka, hindi, hindi mo pwedeng papasukin yung uh, negative uh, yes. words. Yes. Mas lalo ko pa pong ginagalingan, Tito Boy. Dapat. Mas Dapat. lalo ko pang ginagalingan. You're an athlete. You must be very competitive. Gaano ka ka-competitive as an actor? I'm very competitive, Tito Boy. Ayoko magpalamon kahit kanino. But it's not my intention also na manglamon ng tao. Tama. Uh -oh. I just know na what I'm capable of and I always do my best sa lahat. Kasi yun ang bahagi ng training din ng athlete and you yes. know what you want. Yes. Pero itong tanong, gaano ka ka-competitive pagdating sa pag-ibig? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very competitive also, Tito Boy. Pag may mahal akong tao, talagang ibibigay ko rin naman lahat ng makakaya ko. Ibibigay mo ang lahat at ipinaglalaban mo ba? Yes. Hanggang saan yung laban na yun? Halimbawa, I'll be very straightforward. I know na wala na kayo ni Lucena Mayor Mark um, Alcala. Hanggang saan yung laban mo? Hanggang saan mo ipinaglaban? Hanggang saan mo ibinigay ang kaya mo? Because it didn't work. Siguro kasi... <laughs> oh my God! 
Hanggang saan ko? Pinaglaban ko naman na until the very end. But of course, um, we had the mutual agreement. And I respected his decision. And ayaw ko rin naman, you know, i ipilit. Ayaw namin ipilit sa isa't isa if we know that it won't work. Kasi if we know na it won't work, bakit pa ipagdalaban? That's actually one of the lessons I learned. Choosing your own battles wisely. Because not every battle is worth fighting for also. It's just a lesson in life. Tama ka. What was not worth fighting for? Sa relasyon na yun? Was it a problem of politics? Was it, was it a problem of another girl? Was it a problem of your career? Ano yung pinanggalingan? Um, siguro, Tito Boy, naging, naging busy kami sa work. And mm. siguro, isa, yung, isa sa mga naging problem was yung distance. He was in Correct. his province. He was the newly elected mayor. I was busy with work. Katapos ko lang ng Widow's Web noon. And then, I started training for Hearts and Eyes sa skating. So, medyo nawala siguro yung yung connection and communication. Pero yung agreement to uh, separate was mutual. Pinag-usapan. Yes, it was it was mutual naman po. Parang we decided to, you know, better Wag ourselves muna. individually na mag-focus oh. na lang muna sa career and ayoko naman na you know, ipilit pa if alam Tama. naman namin na mas lalo lang magiging Toxic or like Six it. months later, are you talking? Are you friends? Or do you talk to your exes? Um, actually, Tito Boy, when we broke up, we we never really saw each other again and we never talked again. Mm, so, okay. I don't know if we're, we're friends, but I have nothing against him. Tama. Uh -huh. I have nothing against him. I'm not mad at him or bitter at him. But since nga, after the breakup, we never saw each other. Siguro now, it's more of, I don't really feel anything towards him. Okay. Because, you know, he's not part of my life anymore, and I'm fine with that. But he was part of your he past. He was part of my life, yes. Tama, oh. Pero ngayon, I was able to move forward, and I'm at peace. And I think with him also, he's, I think, doing good in his career. May bagong buhay siya. May bagong Halimbawa buhay siya. Halimbawa lamang, uh, hypothetical, pipili ka ng partner sa figure skating na isang uh, artista o isang public figure, sino ang pipiliin mo at bakit? Doon na tayo, kay C and Lim na tayo. Huwag <laughs> oh, na tayo lumayo. Oo, oh, huwag oh, na tayo lumayo. Actually, I really admire C and Lim kasi he was so dedicated here sa Hearts and Eyes. Talagang he trained for months and he's such a fast learner. Nung nalaman ko nga na siya yung partner ko, medyo kinilig din ako kasi dati pinapanood ko lang siya. Right. Pa ako artista noon. Tapos now, he's my leading man. And then parang nag-worry din ako na, Oh no, makakaskate kaya siya. But surprisingly, mas masipag pa yun mag-training sa akin, Tito Boy. Wow. Hindi pa bukas yung skating rink nandun na siya. Kasi usually us, figure skaters, kahit hindi pa bukas yung mall, nandun, nandun na, na kami, we do our stretchings, our warm-ups. Mm -hmm. Siya, ginawa niya rin yun. So talagang nag-train rin siya like an athlete, like a figure skater. So kudos to him. And right. magugulat na lang kayo, ang galing niya. We do liftings na nga, nalilift niya na ako sa skating. Wow. Oh. Pero ngayon ang feeling ko parang we, we are also excited and congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.